Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lonnie and today we are going to talk about this 3D printer right here and how much energy does it use. The reason I'm curious is because I have three 3D printers in here and there's a pretty good chance at some point in the next year uh, we'll be adding another printer or so. Uh, so I started to wonder like, okay, if I have all three of these printers going at the same time, Am I getting close to using the max amount of power I can use on this circuit or not? Because I've, I've seen the question asked, I've been asked this question too. Uh, how much power does the 3D printer use? How much electricity does it cost, etc.? And I honestly did not know. I, I figured it was probably a couple hundred watts or so, but I didn't know for sure. Um, I've seen people in forums, like Facebook groups, say uh you know 50 watts i've seen 200 watts i've seen 500 watts and i don't know i don't know who's right so i decided to measure for myself um i bought one of these little it's a kilowatt type meter it's actually pretty good it's got lots of features which we'll look at in a minute uh, there will be a link to this kilowatt meter or watt meter down below super cheap but very functional uh, we're going to be testing the Anycubic Mega S and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to print um, a calibration cube and we're going to see how much power it consumes. Uh, and this meter here is pretty cool. This top time here, that's an amount of elapsed time since your last reset. This 7.1 watts, that's how much power... Uh, it's currently using. So we're using seven watts just to run probably the power supply fan, which is super quiet. Probably barely, barely hear it. Power supply fan, and then the motherboard is on too, powering the electronics, display, stuff like that. That uses seven watts. And this shows you your cost uh, for that electricity in that time frame. And then here we have the kilowatt hours used. We haven't used any yet since I've reset it. Uh, this is the voltage in and the um, cycles per second, 121.5 at 60 hertz. This is the number of amps you, you're using. And then this is cool. This shows you the lowest power consumption you've used since its reset. And this will show you the highest power consumption you've used since the reset. These numbers are very close here because we haven't started the printer yet. That's some kind of overload setting. And then also you can set the cost per kilowatt hour where you where you live. And ours is actually, I think it's closer to 11 to 12 cents. But I punched in 15 cents because I thought 15 cents might be a pretty, pretty close to like a nationwide average. So whenever you see me talking about the, the total cost, it's going to be based on 15 cents per kilowatt hour. And then here we are back at the main screen again. So whenever I do start the printer, we're going to reset this right after we start it. So I actually will reset this and then we'll start it. Um, and I'll go ahead and get this ready now. We're going to do this calibration cube. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit function and up to reset this. Okay, I just reset that. So it's just starting and we're on calibration cube. I have it loaded on that card there and we're gonna start hitting print. And we should see a fairly immediate change. Yeah, here we go. If you look there, you could see we're already using like 180 something watts. And if I go here on the screen, hopefully you can see this, uh, it's, trying to heat up to 60 degrees Celsius on the bed. So this is just this heated bed heating up is 180 something watts. That is not the hot end yet. Uh, this does have to heat up just a tad more and then the hot end will start heating up. And then we should see this probably over 200 watts once both heaters are, are running. And you could see the hot end started heating here and now the hot end and the heated bed are both heating and we're at 200 a little over 220 watts now 
So that's, that's a pretty good bit. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this run and y'all will be able to see the meter kind of going. You could see like as it cycles in and out of heating, uh, that consumption is gonna rise and fall based on where it's at. We're coming to the finish line here on this print and you see I'm recording it on the, uh, the iPhone here. But if, if you notice, I wanted to talk about these numbers we've been seeing here on this, uh, this little watt meter here. And it looks like to me that when it's just like when it's just the hot end and like the, the stepper motors running in the electronics, it looks like it's usually in the 40 something range, but occasionally it will go below 40, probably just in those occasions when the hot end shuts off for a few moments to get to the, the right temp. And then you can always see when that uh, heated bed kicks on, it's like 200 to 200 and something. So. It is interesting seeing all the seeing it cycle through the uh, different power power levels there, uh, and as you can also see, we're going to look at how many kilowatt hours we've used. But we've not even used a penny worth of energy yet. Uh, so the energy cost, I'll just say the energy cost, especially if you're just running a printer two or three, or maybe even four or five, ener energy cost is nominal. Um, and on, on something this small, that cube is five grams, weighs five grams. So basically I, I could get 200 of these cubes out of one reel of this filament. And this stuff we pay $13 uh, a reel for. <laughs> From, uh, what am I using here? It's uh, some kind of PLA Plus. I'm trying to remember the name of the company. This is it right here. 3D Max, that's it. They run this uh, by 10 for 130 something promotion. So just the filament that we're using here um, is six, six and a half cents for the filament and the energy usage is less than a penny. So if you don't take into account the cost of the machine, this print is gonna cost about seven cents. And I take it back where it's like almost finished. And I'm kind of glad it flipped over when it did. It's just about finished now. And it just flipped over to one penny. Okay, the print just stopped. So I'm going to stop my little time lapse thing here on the iPhone. And we're going to take a look. That was a 41 minute print. And let's see what we did here. We used one penny, just like I said a minute ago. We used, that's the number I wanted. We used 0 0.07, I'm gonna write this down, 0 0.071 kilowatt hours. And we used a max of 225.6 watts maximum during that print and it costs us one cent so the 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 penny for the electricity is not really what i was trying to find out because i assumed that the cost was going to be negligible anyway let's take a look at the print how does our print look our print looks fun i printed this by the way at normal resolution uh point was that point oh two uh layer height no, 0.2 layer height, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, the cube looks perfect. So after running that test, uh, that's gonna tell us, yeah, that cost a penny to print that little cube right there. 
But more importantly, what it tells me is that uh, if we're on a 15 amp circuit at 120 volts, that means we can use approximately 1800 watts max before we actually trip the breaker. Now, let's bring that 1800 down to, let's give ourselves a cushion because uh, you don't want to be right at the max of your, your circuitry. We'll, we'll give us ourselves a cushion and we'll say our max is going to be 1500 watts. Uh, let's also assume that we're probably using a couple hundred watts for other things. Uh, let's let's assume we're not running like a crazy powerful gaming computer that's going to gobble up like 800 watts or anything. Uh, we're going to say, we're going to guess 200 watts for everything else in here. Um, I can measure it later, but there's a computer over here. Uh, there's all the lighting in here pretty much is LED. That's an LED bulb there. That's an LED, LED, that's LED. So there's really not a ton of other energy being used in here besides the computer. So I think 200 is a pretty good place to be there. Uh, so by my calculations, if, all, if we have six printers running in here and all six are at the very maximum uh, of 225 watts on each, which that would be fairly unlikely. It probably is going to be a mix of 50 watts on that one, 200 on that one, 190 on that one, something like that, right? But if they are all at uh, the max 225 watts, uh, that would be 1,350 watts. Um, plus a couple hundred more, that would be right around the max I would feel comfortable running. Um, is six printers on a 15 amp circuit and then allows for a little cushion so perfect but let's just say we wanted to run more printers but we didn't want to use a heat heated bed we're we're willing to say no heated bed we don't need it uh how many printers can we run now let's find that out okay so i reset our watt meter here so it's fresh ready to record and I re-sliced our file to take out any heating of the bed. Uh, so now we're just going to go into our menu here. And we're going to print cold bed. Print and then we shall see how hot this or how much electricity this uses. It should use a lot less because from what I could see it looked like about 75% of the wattage was being used just to heat this bed. <laughs> and just to show the difference, um, now you can see it's only, it's only heating the hot end here. And heating the hot end is only 54 watts, as opposed to it was 220 something before when it was heating the bed and the hot end. What we can also see, because it overshot the 210 that it was going for, 210 is the initial layer only, then it's gonna to go to 200. But we can also see the other electronics and fans and whatnot uh, are using about 20 to 25 watts. And now we're printing. Hopefully that first layer sticks on the non-heated bed. Well, I was gonna show the, I was going to show how much power it used on a non-heated bed but what's the point if it doesn't stick to the bed uh, I thought it would work oh well <laughs> it started lifting and the next thing I know the whole thing is riding the whole thing is riding in the nozzle as they say did they say that so yeah uh, you know what I think we're gonna end it there I'll lift her on up a little bit so I can take the little square off of my nozzle. <laughs> well, that last part of the experiment failed, but uh, we now know that running this printer for a half hour cost about a penny of electricity, uh, which means that every hour we run the printer, we're looking at about uh, two cents an hour, right? So if we were going to run this thing all month, how much is this gonna cost me in electricity, this, this gadget, right? If we we're gonna run this thing nonstop all month, 24 seven, 
then it would be about 50 cents per day or $15 per month to run this thing 24 seven. Uh, if you run it half, if you run it 12 hours a day, of course, it would be half of that, It'd be about $7 and 50 cents. If you ran it like a normal person probably would, uh, maybe you three dollars a month or so in electricity if you you know and that would be printing a pretty good bit too hope y'all enjoyed the vid thanks a bunch for watching i will see y'all again next time